Okay guys, I am back with some orders that came in that have been delayed and also some happy mail and some surprise goodies. So I got this little set of staples, which number one, I'm not really happy with how this is packaged because I mean it was closed, but there's like some ones that are broken up and loose in here, but for the price, I think I paid like $360 shipped for these. It was free shipping through Amazon for $3,000 bright color staples there's pink blue green and like a gold yellow and I wanted this for my little mini stapler so I use this to make embellishments so I got these so if you're curious or interested and you like colored staples um I got those off of Amazon and then from all scrapbook steals I've been waiting forever for this order which I'm not happy about but I finally got um, cause I shared part of my big order. This stuff was, I guess, on back order, even though it didn't say that when I ordered it. Anyway, like three weeks later, I finally got my order, but I got an extra set of these Maggie Holmes Shine, or not Shine, uh, Bloom Collection. So I did get those, and I finally, finally, finally found the Ephemera online at Paper Issues. So I placed my first order there, but I haven't gotten that. I also finally got the C.S. La Vie 6x6. This has been really hard to find and in stock. And I really want the Fancy Free Paige Evans collection. But I can't find that in stock anywhere. So if you guys find it anywhere in stock, please let me know. I got that. I also got the 6 or the 12x12, 12 12, I guess, chipboard bloom. Because I also was having a hard time finding this in stock. And I went ahead and broke down and bought the paper pad because I'm really kicking myself because I saw this paper pad at Whimsy Doodle and I didn't buy it and then I just bought the 6x6 but I just really liked the paper so much that I felt I really should invest in a 12x12. So I did finally find that in stock. All scrapbook steals is where I got these items from. Like I said, if you are curious on where you can find them, I don't know if they're in stock now. But I am most excited about getting the ephemera from Cassie. So um, I'm definitely ready for that to come in. And then I also got some Happy Mail. I got a Happy Mail package from, um, it just says McCullough. McCullough on the um on the little package um so i will share with you um this is from tracy and she just said hope you can uh hope you enjoy hope you enjoy your goodies and there's a little mini envelope with these little bow paper clips. It's so cute. Adorable. And check these out. I don't... Look at these. I never bought these binder clips. These are so cute. Thank you so much. I love them. And then these Heidi Swap bows. And then look at this Hello Kitty letter set. Oh my gosh, this is totally getting hoarded. It's from Sanrio. And she was granting a crafty wish. Um, I wish for bow embellishments and enamel dots. So thank you so much for sending these. Look at these gold bows. And then she sent me these enamel dots, which I do not have. And then these like Halloween enamel dots, which are super cute. And then she sent me these gold ones. And check out these felt bows, which I think she made. And these are freaking adorable. They're little paper clips. And then look, she sent me some Dear Lizzie enamel dots and some basic gray. Thank you so, so much, Tracy. I was not expecting all of that. That was so kind of you. 
And I haven't been granting any wishes lately. Um, because <clears throat> I just haven't been able to. But I also haven't been wishing. So, I haven't been wishing because I haven't been granting. And you obviously don't have to, but I like to grant if I'm going to be asking as well. And then I got some really, really sweet surprise happy mail. And by the way, your envelopes are really cute, Christina. I would like to know where you get them from. Um, they almost look like the Ipsy envelopes. She sent me some surprise happy mail. Um, she shared a while back that she got to go to Daiso and I just mentioned to her if she does come across any cute packaging, I would be glad to PayPal her to send me a few and I haven't heard back from her I know she's got a lot going on and um so I totally understand but she just sent them to me by surprise so she said hey twin just picked you up a little something hope you like them of course I absolutely love all of them and I so appreciate you doing that I told you I would pay you for them but um she sent it in this really cute lace themed Dyson bag which I will reuse because we don't have them here. She also sent me some little makeup goodies. They are, these are like um, uh, angled uh, q-tips for your eye makeup. And then look at these super cute bags. Oh my gosh. Whenever I get to go to Daiso, Lord help me because I will have to bring suitcases and fill them <laughs> up and just wear the same clothes all week I guess. Look at these. This is um, non-gusseted. They're like a, a paper bag. Oh my gosh, they're so stunning. And then look at these teddy bear bags. And these are $1.50. That's ridiculous for the, the kind of bags these are. That's amazing. Look at these. Oh my gosh. And I'm a packaging whore. Like, Christina loves packaging too. So this is totally us. And she's my amazing twin that lives in California. I love her. She loves makeup too. If you haven't checked out her channel, you should. It's Christina95901. She makes really pretty projects and she also does beauty. She has a Christina Loves Beauty. She's a beauty channel too. And I do too. If you guys like makeup, oh so glamorous. That's my um, beauty channel. But anyway, she loves, we love the same kind of crafty stuff and makeup, so that's why we say we're twins. And plus we're best friends, so. And then this is like wrapping paper. So I was like totally, totally excited whenever I saw that because I was not expecting it. So that was super exciting. And then one of my beautiful subbies, um, who watched my channel, messaged me, and said, hey, I have some Lisa Frank stickers, because <clears throat> you guys know I love Lisa Frank. If you don't know, now you know. I love Lisa Frank. I've re recently, like, reignited my love for her. I was totally a 90s kid, so um, she has a vintage Lisa Frank stickers, and I thought she was going to send me, like, one or two packs. Like, look at this. She sent me so many, and some of them are partially used, some of them are brand new, but she told me her brother sent away for these whenever she was younger, and she just never used them, and she's kept them all this time. So I'm just going to quickly share with you guys. Thank you so much, Wendy. I seriously cannot say thank you enough. I know this may seem silly to some people, but I love um, Lisa Frank. I love colorful things. I love the 90s. I love the 80s, even though I was born in 87, so I only caught the tail end of it. But <clears throat> I'm obsessed with all those things. So there is tons. Like, you you can tell these are vintage. These are the some of the original, like, drawings. And originally, everything was done by hand, so... There was no, like, computer graphic design. These were hand-drawn, hand-colored, and then they were, like, converted or um, uh, printed. So, oh my gosh, when I saw these, I just was, like, overwhelmed. Look at the flamingos. So cute. And you know what this reminds me of is, like, Betsy Johnson totally wild and like over the top and she sent me this amazing card and they will definitely get used for sure for sure 
So I just could not believe how amazingly generous she was and that she passed them on to me because you can't find, you can find a couple little Lisa Frank things here and there, but honestly, I think the company, um, it's still in business, but they rarely release new items and when they do it's not anything like they used to have back in the 90s you'll find like random sticker kits and stuff but it's not anything like these original designs um, and it's very few and far between and usually the only places you can find them are like um, Dollar General those kind of places Family Dollar every once in a while I know some people said they found them at Dollar Tree I never have but anyway I, I was just totally blown away. So thank you so much, Wendy, for all of those amazing goodies. I will definitely hoard some and I will use some for sure. <laughs> and then I also got a beautiful flip book. Um, totally unexpected. And uh, it was from Isabel. And guess what theme it is? It's Lisa Frank, and when I saw this, I was like flipping out, and oh my gosh, it's so cute. There's this um, unicorn, which I love unicorns also. I guess this one's just a horse because she doesn't have a horn, but um, look at this paper. Oh my gosh, it's so cute, and she used a little closure, which I love, and it's so fun and whimsical. And so she did this little tag and she used colorful paper. Look at this. She sent me some stamped images to color. These look like paper smooches, I think. And this paper I also used in my project or my um, pocket letter that I did that was Lisa Frank. Look at this. And she put some like totally Lisa Frank sequins in there. Look at those colors. And then there's a letter in here, and she just said that basically um, she wished she could have joined in on the challenge, but she made a um, she made a flipbook anyway. She hopes I like like it. She's kind of been busy. She had a lot going on, but she and she's been enabled by me recently to go to Hallmark scrapbooking, <laughs> make a purchase. She's still crafting. She just hasn't gotten to upload any videos. She's trying to get all that squared away with um, a new camera and all that. But she's an amazing craft, you guys, and an amazing friend. She's super, super sweet and very talented. So I hope she can get back on YouTube soon. And look at these. She said she saw them and immediately thought of me. And these are some of the stickers that some people said they got at Dollar Tree, which I never saw. Look at that little donut clip. Whoops. <laughs> and then there's some die cuts. Look at these. Really cute and they're fun and colorful. And I love how she printed out the images. These Lisa Frank images. So I really like this envelope style. I want to try this out next time I do a flip book. So cute. So thank you, Isabel. I love it so, so much. So darn cute. And then the last few things I got were some surprise goodies from my husband. He went to a local candy store that we have. It's called Rocket Fizz. If you've never heard of it, it's like a, they sell all different kinds of flavors of soda. And they also sell like collector stuff and um, like superhero stuff, Hello Kitty. But he got me these little bobble pops which are these little Hello Kitties. They have candy inside. I don't think I'm going to open these, though, because I have one. I think the pink one already that I bought randomly a while back, and I opened it. So these are so cute. And then he got me this little tin of Lucky Stars Hello Kitty candy, and it's in a little takeout container. So that was, like, a big surprise because my hubby is, like, doesn't usually do stuff like that. And then I also got these Hello Kitties. Check this one out. Totally Lisa Frank. Rainbow beautiful kitty kitty. And I have one that's pink, but I don't have one that's got the rainbow. And then I got this mermaid, and he did so good. Because honestly, I have so many Hello Kitties that I don't know how he knows. 
because he doesn't pay attention. <laughs> but he got me this mermaid, and I don't have either one of these Hello Kitties, so he did good. And then I had all of the biddies in this bag, which um, he also got me. My mother-in-law got me a couple of the things, and then he got me a couple of the things. But she got me this reusable Hello Kitty tote. This is from Loungefly, which they also make the purses that you see like in Hot Topic in different places that are Hello Kitty. So I got this reusable tote bag that has Hello Kitty too. So I think that's all my Happy Meal and everything for right now. Um, I do have an order, like I said, coming in from Paper Issues, but I'll have to check my mail and see what's going on with that because it, it's supposed to ship this weekend, but I'm not sure. I didn't get to make it today since I went to the scrapbook garage sale. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will talk to you very